Hi, my name is Vincent Simone. In today's program, I'm gonna show you the number one reason why your ground strokes fly over the fence. Let me begin. Uh-oh. If you're playing tennis in a public park, you will never stop slugging the ball into innocent picnickers or peaceful passerby walking their dogs. Or if you're playing in a tennis club, you'll never stop sending the ball over the fence and, you know, ruining people's lunch, you know, hitting into a glass of Chardonnay on a balcony that's 100 feet away if you don't take the action steps that I'm about to suggest. I promise if you implement these things, it will solve your problems. Number one, elevate your heels, okay? Especially on the forehand side, it's imperative that the angle of our chest while we're hitting is over our toes, okay? You wanna feel like our body weight's going into the court at a 45 degree angle. A lot of people don't realize that by keeping our heels on the ground, our center of mass can only really go backwards. It's gonna be really tough to get over the ball and get what we call leverage. So on the forehand side and backhand side, at contact and after contact, we wanna have our chest and our head leaning over our front foot. Okay, on the backhand side, it's the same thing. And these things are so, so crucial if we wanna stop you know, whacking innocent civilians with our, you know, crazy, crazy strokes, okay? Another thing, another reason is that you are dependent on brushing up on the ball for topspin and power. You think that, you know, swinging up and, you know, it makes sense in theory, right? More I swing up, more revolutions, more spin. But in modern tennis, we actually want to swing through the ball. People are making circles and letter Cs on both the backhand and the forehand, right? Swinging like a Ferris wheel. But what they don't realize is that the letter C, instead of going this way, it needs to go this way. And we wanna get radius around our body, sort of like the hands on a clock, okay? We need to go from 12 to six. But when we hit through the ball, we wanna feel like we're swinging across a tabletop. We wanna, instead of skimming the ball and kind of just brushing it, you know, kind of a glancing blow, we want to crack right through it. So what we're going to do when we hit is we're going to pretend that we're shattering through a glass wall. We want to make sure that during contact point and after we follow through for as long as we can and smash through this imaginary brick wall. Okay, on the forehand, it's the same thing where we go and we feel like we crack through the glass and then our top spin is going to be us covering the ball with the windshield wiper rather than brushing up to the moon, okay? Hanging out with Elon Musk. On the backhand, we do brush up a little bit more, but you also don't wanna take this out of proportion and swing up to the sky. We still need to go through the ball. And then when you can't go forwards any longer, then you start to come up, okay? Another common reason for, you know, sending your ground strokes long over the fence is that your body weight is shifted on your back leg and you're hitting late, okay? What you wanna do is simplify your strokes. When you get up on your toes, you wanna to start pivoting to set up. Simplify your unit turn. Don't send the racket back on a lone mission to Timbuktu, okay? You're gonna to have to turn your entire body, okay? And this is gonna be your power, okay? Your arm is not reliable. Maybe it makes up 5% of your total body weights Okay, maybe a little bit more if you're in the gym, you know, trying to do curls for the girls, trying to be a, you know, Instagram bodybuilder, influencer, whatever, you know, things you'll see, you know, when you're scrolling, guy, oh, take my six week bulk program. Just, we're tennis players, we're not bodybuilders, we're athletes, okay? The arm is unreliable, okay? It's not just inaccurate, but it's weak as well, okay? Use your legs, use your torso, Use your bigger muscles, okay? If you wanna put some force behind the ball, you gotta turn with your entire body and have your body move more than the rackets, okay? If you're trying to just use your arm all day, you're actually gonna get injured. You're gonna get tennis elbow, you're gonna get shoulder, wrist injuries. The arm is loose, it's along for the ride. 
using these tips, hopefully you could stop ruining people's day by hitting your you know, balls into the fence, spending money, going through cans of balls that just go missing into the forest and the trees, you know, never to be returned, probably get choked on by a squirrel. If you like this video, I recommend taking the next step and going into my online course because it takes what we've learned and it builds on it and will show you how to stop hitting balls over the fence and probably get through some rounds at a tournament as well. Also, you can take my book, read it, use it. It's a self-help tennis guide for adults. Both of these links you can find down in the description. In any event, thanks for tuning in and use what you've learned to modernize your game. Ciao. I'll see you guys next time.